I saw a beautiful apartment. I just came back from my viewing. I'm gonna send my dossier. I have a really good feeling about this one. Like a really good feeling. I think this is it. I think this is it. Guys, I have been doing so much vintage shopping recently. I'm obsessed. It's so good here. I might do a little haul at the end of everything that I have picked up because it's kind of a lot. I actually still have some more parcels to get. I think we've been doing a little bit of retail therapy to make myself feel better. And also because I still don't really have like all my boxes are still in Ireland. I'm meeting up with Hugo. We're gonna get lunch at Cafe Kitsune because they've started doing food. And then later tonight, I have a really fun dinner for Rank Club. So I might do a little get ready with me. That's at 10 p.m., which is just so, like, that's so French. Like, 10 p.m. dinner? 10 p.m. is my bedtime. So I might have to, like, nap in between. <laughs> It's officially spring. The cherry blossoms are out. Taking leisure this way is fun. And the cherry blossoms are out. And it's so pretty. Cuckoo amor. Comment ça va? Non, ça va bien aussi, allez. Mais tu dois un peu genre zoomer pour avoir. T'es pas obligé d'avoir tout sur ta photo. Oui, c'est vrai. Genre tu te concentres sur un élément. Ok. <rire> Turkish egg. En vrai, eux à la turque, non, Turkish egg. Ça c'est trop bon. Ça c'est vraiment mon truc numéro 1. Vraiment Vraiment. <laughs> the influencer taking pictures. <laughs> Gonna find some vintage shops on this road. Oh, there's one. There they are. <laughs> Okay, so I know I said I collected a bunch of vintage things over the past few weeks. I didn't realize I actually picked up so much. I feel like I'm at a weird point in my style after kind of living out of a backpack last year and not really having that much variation in my outfits. Like I feel like I want to start fresh. I don't know, I'm leaning more into like the girly, softer, like we've got some pastel tones, more flowy skirts. I ended up getting four skirts, which isn't normally like me, but as I said, we're getting like a little more girly. First one which I picked up was this vintage linen kind of maxi. It's a little bit pleated at the front. It's got this really cute button detailing. It's really cheap, it was eight euros. And it's 100% linen, so it's like really nice, breathable, fabric but i just think it'll be perfect for spring and summer and then i bought two vintage Miu Miu skirts i have just been loving everything Miu Miu has been doing recently they have some really good pieces on vintage and i feel like you have these older french or italian ladies who don't really care that it's like Miu Miu so they put things up for pretty cheap the first one which i bought is this cord midi skirt but it's actually like long short i think this is like a little bit more tomboy and i think this would be cute it's like a little bit baby tea and it's just a really nice kind of fun piece to style and I don't know I don't really have any like long shorts or corduroy pieces the next one which I got I'm obsessed with it is this baby blue pleated mini skirt it's so cute I feel like it looks like something that would be from their more recent collections as well this I got for 40 euros I asked for a little discount I think it was like 60 originally I don't know this makes me really happy and I want to have more pieces in my wardrobe that like spark joy and then the last skirt which I bought it was a little bit rogue um it's this JPG silk little like tutu skirt <laughs> kind of giving me you know those like fancy club dresses which are everywhere I feel like sheer is really big for spring and summer and even though this isn't sheer, it's kind of made from 
lots of um, sheer pieces of fabric put together. I think it was like 15 euros, so I was like, you know what? It could be like a fun thing to style, to like dress up and also like make it more casual. I just took this out of the washing machine, so sorry it's wet, I probably won't be able to try it on. But I got this little Burberry tank top, this was so cheap, it was like 6 euros. I especially love that they have the little check detailing on the straps and Got some like button detailing on the back, super cute. And if you look closely, it has like the Burberry logo. I was about to say engraved, but the stitched, or I don't know how it's done, but it's like within the fabric. And the next top I got, oh, I found this like eyelet lace. Oh, what is this? Creme on no, not creme on glass. Broderie Anglaise for set top. Now this was a bit of a risky purchase because I did not know if this was gonna fit me. Turns out it does fit really well. The last button is a little bit of a stretch, but I actually kind of like the half unbutton look. I feel like a lot of brands these days are making tops that look like this, but this is like actually true vintage, which is really cool. And then I bought two new jumpers, both of them from brands which I had my eye on. The first one is this turtleneck Jim Gwas, um jumper and it's got like a little zipper at the front which I think is really sweet. This is currently on their site for like 140 years or something ridiculous. I just didn't realize it was going to be so thin. I thought it was going to be like a thicker fabric but I guess it'll be good for spring and summer whenever it's like a bit cooler at night. Like this with a little skirt, a little pleated skirt and ballet flats would be so sweet and actually don't really have any white jumpers. I wore it the other day and already got it dirty. So this is going to be a bit of a hazard for me. The other jumper I got is this Thames London crew neck. My friend Daisy has it and I was wearing it whenever I was staying with her in London and I was just like obsessed. I think it's so cute. It reminds me of that quote from <laughs> High School Musical. It's like T.S. and Troy and I know it's getting warmer but even this with like a little denim skirt would be so cute. It's giving like preppy old money vibes and I'm into that. And then the last thing which I got from Vintage <laughs> I'm so excited about. I have been on the hunt for Miu Miu ballet flats for quite some time. Actually, I had the most horrible experience, not the most, okay, that's so dramatic, but I had a really annoying experience where I bought the Miu Miu satin ballet flats from Vestier. When it arrived, it was an empty box, and I'm not sure whether they were like taken out of the box in transit or the seller was a scammer. That was really, I. Luckily I got a refund after so many months of emailing them. <laughs> Long story short, I've really been wanting a pair of ballet flats and these came up on Vinted in my size. I think the seller had them for like 180. I think these used to retail for like 600 euros. And I asked for like 130 or something and she said yes. So I, I bought them. Look how cute. I'm happy that I actually ended up getting these instead of the satin ones because I know the satin ones just like wouldn't last as long and I prefer the buckles on these versus the like Miu Miu elastic. They unfortunately didn't come with the ribbons that go all the way up but I think that's kind of fun. I might go to a store in Paris and try and like find my own ribbons that will look good. I've had my eye on these for months so I'm really happy that I was able to get them second hand and I know I'm gonna get a bunch of wear out of them. And then the last thing I want to share with you, I actually didn't get from Vinted, but I got from a vintage store in Paris called At Dawn. I'll leave their Instagram links. From by the sweetest couple, Alessia and Mathieu. They're like friends of friends, so I wanna give them a little shout out, but I bought this lavender, is this lavender? I don't know, this like purple, really light jacket. I think it's gonna be perfect for springtime whenever you wanna still like layer a little and add a bit of something to your outfit, but it's like hot out. Anyway, I love this. And they have such a nice selection in their store and also on their Instagram so definitely check them out. It's my little haul of everything that I've gotten recently and I'm feeling very excited to be wearing some different clothes and making some more spring outfits. I just want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor Squarespace for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel this year. It really means a lot. If you don't know, Squarespace is the online platform for hosting your online presence and creating beautiful websites. They really make the whole process so easy, especially like someone like me, like I don't really know that much about coding a website. I wouldn't know where to start. With Squarespace, it's so easy. You can just pick one of the pre-designed templates and really customize it to make it your own. So whether you are looking to create an online portfolio 
portfolio or have a blog or open an online store, Squarespace can really help you with everything you need for that to make your site successful. They have so many amazing features. For example, Squarespace will connect all your social medias automatically. It's just really intuitive and it means that you can focus on doing what you love instead of spending time on your website. So if you want to play around with your potential site, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial and customize it and see what you like. And when you feel like you're ready to launch, you can use my link in the description, squarespace.com slash moya to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Would it have been better to have done my makeup out right here? Maybe. I don't know the restaurant where dinner is tonight, but it's in the air. It's near Champs Elysees. And it's gonna be kind of like fancy vibes. Um, but I'm just gonna get the metro over and fingers crossed there's no strikes. I think the main strike starts tomorrow. It's been pretty chaotic in Paris. <laughs> Je vais te demander qu'il nous ramène des genre des petits plats. Ouais. 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 p.m. so good afternoon still no word in the apartment but it is the weekend so there's nothing i can really do at the moment i do have another viewing for an apartment later but i'm not as keen on it so we are kind of cutting it fine so i'm gonna go anyway and see what it's like i'm headed to this like vintage sale event i'm going with leia and i don't know i'm not like particularly wanting to get anything but i'm just gonna go have a little look and probably get a coffee after Yeah, it's like double volume. <laughs> Do you want to buy my clothes? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, oh my god. So the jacket is from the About You and Bella Hadid collaboration. Look this here. One? Oh, but it's really a garage sale. Moi, je vais prendre ailleurs. Me, I'm going to take one. Je suis derrière la caméra cette fois-ci. Là, on soutient Baya qui fait son petit vide dressing. This is called a dressing. A vide dressing. Vide dressing, a fast dressing. Ouais, c'est ça. And Yunju, our little baby is here too. Everyone is supporting. She's selling. Making money. Café près de la canal. Près du canal, oui, oui, oui. Dans le soleil. Dans le soleil. But it's so windy today. Bon, Let me... That's my spot, guys. This is why I trust, I trust these guys for food recommendations. <laughs> they don't have like lead brush. Tu fais pas de profit en fait parce qu'en fait tu payes tout le temps. Oui, ok, c'est pas. I was so anxious all weekend, so anxious all the morning. Like my heart, my my chest feels so heavy. Just been waiting to hear back. Um, about this apartment. I'm trying to let go of all anxieties surrounding it and anxieties surrounding this feeling of instability for the next few weeks and I'm actually traveling once April comes around. I pre-booked flights thinking that I would have everything sorted and I will have everything sorted once I get this apartment. I'm actually going to LA for the first time ever, ever and I don't know, LA has never really been somewhere on my bucket list of travel but um, I made 
a really, really good friend last year, Fiona. Um, I think you may have seen her in some of my vlogs. And she lives there. I think because I'm visiting brands and staying with a friend, it'll be really nice to experience it through a local's eye. And I don't know, I just want to do wholesome things. I want to get out in nature. I want to do hikes. I want to go to the beach. I want to try surfing and just, yeah, experience that like slower pace of life that I guess people talk about there. So I'm super, super excited for that trip. Um, it's been booked for ages. I'll be sad to leave Paris for a little bit, but I think it'll just make me miss the city more. And um, yeah, and then I'll be fully settled for whenever I come back. Don't mind my washing hanging in the background. Um, I'm gonna make some food. What is this? I don't know, it's like early dinner, late lunch. It's like half four. Oh no, it's 5 p.m. It's dinner time. There is absolutely no regularity to when I eat, ever. Veggies, various vegetables. An avo that's needy. And also, because it's the West Village and the buildings are generally shorter. Hey, I mean, mine was kind of a bust too. Well, I moved, but I missed like all of St. Patty's Day. Um, but then mm, we went to this other bar called Get In There. Mm -hmm. I know. And there's always people sitting at the bar. Like, it's bars. Like we have a little rice bowl, um, my favorite tofu ever, some tomatoes, avocado, and then I stir fried some veggies, just courgette, broccoli, carrots, and I made like a miso hot pepper sauce. This would be so good with like spring onions and sesame seeds, but we don't have those. But it still looks good. Yum! So easy. I made this the other day, but I didn't have the tofu. I just soft boiled an egg. Obviously, it's not vegan, but. This one. Okay. 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 Okay.